All right, so we have a 27 year old woman who presents with chest pain. The patient reports that she was about to give a presentation at her job and suddenly had a feeling of impending doom. In addition to chest pain, she had palpitations and sweating. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? So answer choice A, acute stress disorder, B, agoraphobia, C, hypomania, and D, panic attack. So this is rather straightforward. The lead-in is asking us to identify the most likely diagnosis. Now, when I look at these answer choices, this is really not a difficult question. What would make it more difficult is if there was the inclusion of some cardiac diagnoses, right? Or maybe endocrinologic, like a thyroid disorder, because what we're seeing here is chest pain, right? Impending doom, palpitations, and sweating. Whenever we hear that, right? If I change this 27-year-old woman to a you know, 75-year-old, we certainly are going to be thinking this patient's having coronary ischemia. So the key, though, to be able to distinguish from what the answer is here to a cardiac disorder is that this patient is young. Now, you could have, you know, clinically speaking, right, you could have an MI in a 27-year-old for sure, and you don't want to miss the diagnosis and make a diagnosis of a panic disorder when it's actually acute coronary ischemia. And for exam purposes, for the board exam, right, we're told that she was about to give a presentation at her job. So she has these symptoms that occur right before she's going to do a stressful event. And therefore, when I hear that, I'm pretty confident what I know the answer is going to be. So let's go through the answer choices. A, acute stress disorder. So that's symptoms that are similar to PTSD, post-traumatic stress, but typically occur after a stressful event, not before. So we're going to cross that out. And then we have agoraphobia, which is really an anxiety or fear of situations from which it may be difficult to escape, right? And so we don't see any of that here in this patient. So let's cross that out. And C, hypomania. So that's not an anxiety disorder. It is a mood disorder where patients are going to experience symptoms of mania. And we don't see that here uh, at all. And so we're left with a panic attack. And so this patient is having classic panic attack. And right, panic attacks are going to be classified or characterized by the sudden onset of symptoms, right? You're going to have fear or terror associated with this impending doom. So on board exams, anytime you kind of get that constellation of symptoms, this fear, terror, impending doom associated with sudden onset of, let's say, palpitations or chest pain, dizziness, choking cessation. In a young person, it's almost always a panic attack or, or something associated with a panic disorder rather than some cardiac condition or pulmonary embolism. So we're going to go with answer choice D, panic attack. And sure enough, that is the correct answer. Hey everyone, before you go, if you're interested in your own QBank, whether you are an MD or DO, a PA or an MP, simply go to rushreview.com and sign up for a free trial. See if Rush Review's content is right for you. Keep learning, keep working hard, and always have a sense of mission about your work. Now is your time. This is Dr. Adam Rush signing off.